seems like a good spot right here eh, maybe let's see if maybe there's something else I just put these handle handlebars on that's a nice little stone we could do it there I just I don't know I just put these bar grips on Fritz really nice I like them a lot and uh, a couple other things I got going on here at the bike you know what maybe we can find a spot by these trailers let's just go right here on this curb all right guys so this is the trike al3 domain that i got last year about this time i figured i would show you guys what i've done to it over the year and i i consider this bike to be like the ultimate cruiser for the uh for the city so i don't remember what i did first but we have a water bottle from this the uh, polar polar bottle insulated bottle really like this bottle a lot it's um insulated so it works good and then um on the other side i have a crank brothers pump now this is not like your typical toe peak pump or whatever this one here it works so freaking well guys like this pump it's something else it has so many different like little features to it like when you you know you're coming out here and it opens up and you can pump it and on the other side it has the uh the magnetic little stem thing that comes out actually that comes out from i don't remember let's just pop it out and see so yeah when you uh take this pump out it, you can open it up like that and then right here that's where this comes out turn your thing and it connects uh, magnetically here and then you got yourself a really really good pump so I like this pump way more than uh, any other one that I've got this thing is legit and the coolest thing about this pump is like it doesn't like when you put it on a bike it seems like it's not even there like it's just like nothing on it so that's what i like about this pump the most so and as you can see like the pump is so sleek looking on the bike like it just doesn't even look like anything is there and i think that's my favorite part about the crank brothers pump it just like look at it like you can't even tell and goddamn, do those grips look so good. Like, to me, this is just, like, the ultimate city bike that's super fast. Like, a really fast, just city kind of bike. And that was my goal to do, and I think I reached it. Got the FTL sticker. If you don't know who that is, that's um, Follow the Leader. That's a Billy, Billy Perry's uh, company. He's a big YouTuber in New York. Um, pretty cool dude. Really good BMX rider. And honestly, he's a really good artist when it comes to making videos, and he's one of my favorite YouTubers because of it. So I watch a lot of Billy Perry videos. Uh, his just this, the videos that them kids put together at such a young age, and their ambition to start a company is amazing. So follow the leader. I really like their company, and I I think I might be the only road bike guy to have that on a road bike. So he knows. Uh, I tagged him on an Instagram post, and he uh, he appreciated that. So. It was pretty cool to hear from him get back to me and, uh, you know, it, it's pretty cool. You know, you know, a kid's such a young age and has so much potential and uh, to be so polite to come back to somebody who he doesn't even know at such a young age like that. He doesn't have any. It's very humble. He's a very humble guy. And uh, you can just tell that he's uh, going to grow up to be a magnificent young man. Anyway, or adult, whatever. Anyways, um, moving on. What else do we got? We have a reflector delete all the way around so no reflectors on the wheels no reflectors on the front and uh, no reflector on the rear um, obviously I have this light here and let's talk a little bit about my lighting so this light it unscrews and uh, you plug it in this way 
And, um, you know, one thing I'll say about China, they make some good freaking lights. This is probably the best uh, rear bike light you're ever going to get. It's about 50 to 60 bucks or something like that. I, don't, I forget. But um, it's so, like, high quality. Like, it's very durable. It's waterproof. It's got this seal around it. Uh, it you know, it just... That's how you charge it, USB charging. And I haven't charged this thing yet since I bought it. I charged it once when it was brand new. And that's it. You just kind of put it on there, this rubber thing. Now, it does come with a, a rear under seat clamp. But since I run my uh, wheel kit bag there, I don't use that. And then it's just one click. It has different settings. All right. So, like, you know, you got your mode there. Then you got freeze mode and, it, like, a slow motion mode. Then you got the strobe, which is what I always run with. Then you got your freeze mode, and it just like, like like stays like that. Then uh, you know that's off. So, but what the cool thing about this light is, is it's a brake light actually. So like if you stop or whatever, I'll see if I can get this. If you're when you're stopping or whatever like that, it actually. I don't know if I can do this. Let's see if we can do it going backward. There you go. That's what the coolest thing about that rear bike light is. I think it's actually dying finally. But it is like a brake light, so it feels the momentum and it lights up brighter when you're stopping. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Just a little bit, this is a Trake AL3 domain. It's an eight speed. I really do want to bump it up a little bit. I'm not gonna upgrade this bike to like, you know, a different uh, cassette or anything like that or gear grouping. Uh, or even cranks. It's just going to stay how it is. If anything, I'll just buy a whole new bike because that can get pricey. But, you know, to me, a, a entry-level starter, a bike to cruise around the city that's really fast, it, this is just fine. So, but it, I think I've reached my limit on, like, how fast I, I need to go and how fast I want to go with it. So I think it's about time I uh, maybe upgrade to a carbon or uh, a 10-speed or something like that. But, uh... The, the crank and the group set and the cassette is uh, Shimino and um, it's, a, it's a good set so you know no problems with it the chain popped once on it the other day and uh, I think I just needed to bring it in to get maintenance but other than that all that stuff is all stock the tires and wheels are stock didn't even put new tires on it yet but uh, any recommendations for like a all-terrain type of tire let me know guys in the comments because I do need to get them and I do want to get a set of wheels too. Um, haven't made my mind up on carbon wheels or whatever. So, um, you know, we'll see. So other things I got here from Billy Perry, I got my, uh, my set, my bag here. And right now I just, cause I went to the store before here. So I got Excedrin in there. It's usually not in there, but uh, this thing's cool. And I, I just keep like every now and again, um, I'll keep my Glock 43 in here, my handgun. And this is a really cool bag. If you just want to keep keys, a wallet, just boring stuff, whatever. I, right now I have these gloves in here, riding gloves from uh, Thousand, the company Thousand. And these are really good gloves. I like these a lot. So I just keep them in there. And, um, you know, sometimes I'll run my Glock um, in this. But, uh, you know, it's a little bit small. I can't keep it in the holster if it's in here. So generally I keep my Glock in my, my concealed carry in here so i do have a bigger one of these uh for longer trips or whatever but um this is the one that stays on the bike most days so to follow the leader from billy perry pretty cool i love i really like this bag it's small doesn't <sighs> all right so i got a little bit wet it's like it just started downpouring guys i don't know so i brought the bike inside and um well let's take a look at it in here it'd be be a lot easier i guess to uh do it in here a little bit more quiet to it all and trucks and stuff driving by so let me see if i can take facial recognition off and go down to the bike bring the camera down yeah okay so the uh where were we i don't really remember where we were i guess we were talking about this light back here and how it's uh it's like a brake light so this thing's really cool uh, i can't remember the name of the company oh you know what it's called cycle cycle light or something like that it's uh guys there's a lot of these like crappy junky lights that you can get for your bikes this one is honestly like the best one that i think um on the market right now and like i said it's called cycle light 
And uh, yeah, definitely check that out if you're looking for light. Like I said, it's got the brake lights, got different modes, and um, you know, it's strobes. It's really bright at nighttime. Haven't done a review on it. Um, I guess mainly because I needed a gimbal, so maybe we'll try to get that out for you guys. But just take my word for it, you know, I mean, take everything with a grain of salt that anyone says, but if uh, my word means anything, um, I, I like the light a lot. I haven't had any problems with it. Now, like I said, all the uh, reflectors are deleted besides the pedal reflectors. I just think the reflectors, you know, let's just be honest, they're safe, but they're dorky, and they don't look good on the bike, so I take them off. Um, so, but the front light, uh, lighting is super important. People can't see you, they're gonna hit you. And honestly, if people can see you, they're gonna hit you too. So you just gotta be really careful. Um, but this is something I, I like a lot. This is called the speed bag. Other than my bag here, which I, like I said outside, before I got rudely rained on by the heavens. Uh, like I said in here, you know, this is like for general, like your wallet, your keys, you know, if you don't wanna, if you don't carry EDC bag, we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Sometimes I'll carry my Glock in here. And then even sometimes I'll put like for longer trips, like if I'm going out all day and I'm riding to my destination as well, and maybe I'll need an extra tube or two, and maybe someone's with me, you know, I'll ride with this thing. You know, I don't race. I'm just looking to have a good cruise on a nice fast bike. And that's kind of what, kind of like where I go with it. I don't dress in the tights and stuff. Like this is what I wore today. I rode to the gym. I, I know I look like I'm sweating like a pig, but it's actually just rainwater, so relax. Um, but I do like this bag a lot too. This is called from my bear. And uh, this, this bag actually is really nice. This fits my Glock 43. It'll fit a Glock 19 actually. I had a Glock 19 in here, an extra magazine, my wallet, keys, a tube. So, you know, uh, I ride with my gun because I'm not, if I was racing, I'm not gonna ride with a gun. But like, you know, today's day and age, I just ride with a gun. It, you know, I know a lot of you that are into cycling are from the European countries and I know that's like, you know, unheard of out there, you know, you don't even carry guns, you don't even carry knives, but uh, in America we do, so, um, you know, that's what it is. Um, and I need to hear about, you know, how you don't approve or whatever, you know, you just don't understand our culture and that's just what it is here. So, anyway, that's just my thought behind that. So the follow the leader bag is my main one, and then for like longer journeys, all day trips, the Ibera bag will go on, and I, I really like this bag a lot. The thing that I like about Billy Perry's bag though, is one, it's small, it's really cool design. It's got the elephant on the other side and it's got these little elephants here. It also has this little hidden zipper inside here that, um, but yeah, you can like, you know, put extra stuff in there that you don't want jiggling around. So uh, there's that. We talked about the Crank Brothers lock. So, and then we talked about the thousand gloves. Now let's talk about my front headlight. Uh, so I keep the front headlight. Usually we'll, we'll stay on the bike, but um, you know, I haven't been riding at night usually. I always run with the back light on, always, during the day even too, because, you know, it's just crazy out here. Um, I almost got hit twice by cops, two cops. Let me, I'll tell you a quick story, I was, I was drifting behind this cop uh, for about 30 seconds, and I wasn't sure what he was doing, he had no turn signal on, and so I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go around him, and all of a sudden he turned straight in front of me when I was about a quarter of the way through his back rear panel, and he almost fucking flattened me like a pancake. And uh, luckily I slammed on the brakes, I went sideways and I get in front of him, I'm like, you fucking idiot. And he's looking at me like this. Like, dude, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Like, I don't even know how, one, how you're a cop, two, how you have a driver's license. So like, anyway, fuck, you, fuck off. Like, I wasn't about to have an argument with him. So I just kept riding. But like, he just like, was totally like, oh, it was my fault. Like, dude, you literally turn with no turn signal. And you know how cop, oh, I have my signal on. You know, they play that whole bullshit. I wasn't, I wasn't having it. I just didn't even want no parts of it. So I just continued on my way like no one was hurt, so whatever. Anyway, so the front light, I do not like this light. It doesn't charge right for me. There's, it just seems like it's always got this stupid red light. Uh, I can't really figure it out. Um, even right now, I can't get it to turn on. Maybe it's dead. But it doesn't do what it's supposed to do as far as the charging goes. There's a charging cable here. And when I charge it up, it's supposed to light up and let you know when it's charging or when it's fully charged. And it doesn't do that. And this is, and it's got great reviews, and so many people love this light. And this is a Knight Riders Lumen 900 Boost. It's like 900 lumens, and it looks super. It's a, it's a pretty nice light. It's really nice, really bright when it, when it wants, when it's on and working. But uh, I just have too many issues with it, and you know I'm going to be switching front lights. So any front lights uh, recommendations you guys have for bikes, let me know, and I would appreciate that. Also. 
If you're so inclined to uh, support the channel, there's a patron link below. Uh, I've released videos on there twice a month so far. And uh, there's just other content I won't release on YouTube. So if you want to do the patron thing, I'd really appreciate that. We're going to do some other tips of like how to do these bar grips and some other stuff will be all patron videos. So the more people that interact and subscribe to that, the more videos and content I'll put out for you guys on there. So far, uh, I think there's like five people signed up for that. So one's including my mother, which is awesome. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I'd appreciate that. But anyway, I also appreciate if you can leave um, some recommendations on front mounted bug lights that are high quality. I don't care about money. I don't care how much it is. I don't want cheap budget stuff. I want the best. All right, so let me know guys what you got. I know Cat Eyes makes good ones, Night Riders, whatever. Uh, so let me know. Um, that would be appreciated. Um, so moving forward, um, regular brakes, all the same, the shifters, Shimino shifters, really good brakes. I mean, they're just a rim brake. And so let's talk a little bit about these handlebar grips that I just did. So it took me a little while to figure this out. These have the tape on the inside. I did do a video on it, but I wasn't happy with the video quality and the way I was doing it. And I was in a bad mood that day. So I didn't release the video, but if you guys want to see how to do this, and you don't want to take it to a bike shop. I know, you know, it's really fucking simple to do. I got this really cool tape that's like not electrical tape, but it's like some kind of tire tape that stretches and sticks. It's really awesome. So I got some of that for the ends. And uh, that's, I think, the trick behind it. And uh, under here, like I did this kind of like pattern. It's a little fucked up right here, but you know, you can't really see it. Uh, I think I'll do it better my next time. But these are by Fritz. And what I like about these is like they're... They just make the bike have this old school vibe. I'm looking to get um, a saddle to match it and get rid of the stock um, Von Traeger saddle and get a better saddle. Um, looking at a couple of ones that I really like, maybe a custom one. But uh, the Fritz, I like this because it just gives it this old vibe and I really like the grip on it. And uh, one side has uh, white in Fritz and the other side is nothing. So I just always thought it was cool how cyclists and cycle stuff is always like uh, one side's different than the other. I always thought that was neat. So anyways, uh, moving on. So, and, and, and honestly, this was not hard to do at all, guys. It was, uh, it took more time to look up the videos on how to do it than to actually do it. So not that bad at all. Anybody could do it. Don't be scared of it. Um, so the mount that I have for the headlight though, just before I forget to mention, did come with the light. I do like the mount. The mount's pretty cool. But uh, the mount that I like even better is this really simple, phone light mount. Now, right now I'm filming on my iPhone 11 Pro Max on a DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal. So I usually have my iPhone on here, but just for shits and giggles, I threw the Note 10 Plus on here so you guys can see what it looks like. And that's how I was riding with before, um, just just with this on here. And uh, I, like, I like this mount a lot. It's a really good mount. It's made out of aluminum. It's heavy duty. Uh, I did have to Loctite the bolts. So um, don't run it without Loctites, it'll eventually start to come loose from vibrations and whatnot. But, uh, you know, I know like cyclists, they like to have like the, the little GPS map thing that's really small in the front. And I get that, but this is a road bike for the city. Just, just going back and forth to the gym and places I need to go. I'm not racing this thing. If I was racing, I wouldn't rock a phone like this on here. But, you know, you're just going through your playlist or like GPS or different restaurants to look up. And uh, to me, like this is just the mount to do it. If you're gonna mount your phone, this is the one to get. And this is called the uh, GLIB Pro 3. Design, oh, GUB, G-U-B, made in China. Uh, it's really nice, it, it just basically, you just turn it like this, and it, it mounts your phone nice and secure. Somebody at the gym, when I had my bike parked up, they had just said, yo, where'd you get that mount? That thing is super cool. You know, where'd you get it? I was checking it out. I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, Amazon, bang. And, um, you know, so check that out. If you leave it loose like this without a phone on there, it'll rattle and kind of be annoying. So you got to tighten it all the way up. And um, this screw here, this Allen screw in the center, if you guys can see, is the one that you need to lock tight. So, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's what I got as far as uh, communications or what have you or you know GPS or like my music playlist. I run just my eye, uh, my pro um, ear pros, my fuck are they called? My iPhone, uh, fuck. Why can't I think of what they're called, guys? Hey, yeah, I can't think of anything. These things, the, uh, the little earbuds, the pros. So I just, I just run those in my ears and they seem to be good enough. 
Um, so bike lock. I just did a video on the bike lock. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, under the patron thing um, for like this big heavy lock that I, I bought and I didn't like it. It was way too heavy and I just cracked the thing with bolt cutters like it was nothing. But let me tell you guys, my mother told me to pray for a bike every single night and I would get a bike and then I figured out the world doesn't work like that so I just stole a bike and asked for God's forgiveness. Famous quote, somebody tell me who said it. Anyway, um, I never stole a bike, but I know a lot of people who have. I've been around the game. I've been around criminals. I know how they think. They're going to steal the shit if they want. So there's no point to really have this heavy, oversized lock because if somebody wants something, they're going to fucking take it. But you don't have to make it easy for them. So the lock that I run is just this cheapy Walmart generic lock. It's super light. Uh, now, if I'm going out on the bike a lot, I'll just keep it around the seat post, but generally I'll throw it right in this bag. And uh, this is just a stupid combination um, lock. And, you know, honestly, it just works, guys. It's just, it's the oldest way in the book. And the thing that I like about this lock the most is how light and stupid and small it is. And, you know, you see all these gimmicky locks now that are out for bikes that are way too heavy. Where are you going to put it? You know, it's just, it, it makes the bike heavy. And, you know, you just throw this thing in the bag if you want to or whatever. I run this thing a bunch of which ways, park it out front of the window of the gym or wherever I'm at. You just don't make it easy for them, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to park a bike like this in an alleyway with a lock like this on it. That's just not going to happen. And if I have to park the bike somewhere like that, I'm not going to park it there at all. So, you know, just uh, keep that in mind. If somebody wants something, they're going to take it no matter what kind of lock you have on there. So there's no point for me to really put invest into these locks that are like overly built and too heavy when, you know, I could just crack the thing with bolt cutters just like I can cut this thing with, uh, th these are a little hard to do with scissors, but um, I believe I'm gonna do it with the Leatherman scissors and I'll show you guys in a different video. Uh, the Leatherman Raptors, I think they can cut right through this thing, so we'll see. If somebody has a Leatherman Raptor, they could probably cut through your cable wire. Now, another cheap way to do this, if you don't wanna spend a lot of money, you don't have a lot of money and you want a bike lock, just get a black power cable from a battery connector from a from Walmart, like a battery connector cable, a negative cable, and run that through the bike and put a lock on the end. Boom. And that's a good bike lock. But these are just as cheap, so my dog's getting soaked. Come on, Baba. I know Mama Burden. You're all you're getting all wet, babies. Alright, so yeah, that's my bike lock. And uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with this. It's like I said guys, it's light, fits a lot of places. And uh, it doesn't slow me down, and I like that. Let's move on to what's inside my speed bag. So in my speed bag here, I just keep an air cylinder, uh, some chapstick. Always getting chap lips. It doesn't even matter if it's the middle of summertime. I have them now just from riding. Uh, a couple of tire, uh, break the tire tube off the rim. Some band-aids, you know, band-aids, guys, I see so many guys forget, they got a band-aid, they bust their knee or whatever, you got blood dripping all over. So I carry some band-aids and gauze in my bag. Um, then we got some tire um, patch kit, and then I don't have an extra tube in here. Um, you, it's in this drawer right here, because usually I don't run an extra tube if I don't need to. And then I have the uh, little gauge for the uh, pressure thing here. And then I have a Crank Brothers multi-tool, which has a, this is really light. It's like way better than these cheap, cheapy ones you get from like Topeak or Bontrager. Uh, this one has a chain breaker on it. It's got an Allen, a screwdriver, comes in this nice little case. And this is from Crank Brothers. And this is a really, really good uh, multi-tool for your bike. And, and it just, this thing's awesome, guys. So I'll leave a link for Crank Brothers below. And I have three products on them right now in front of you. And that's this pump here. This here and a bigger pump, which I'm gonna go get in a second and show you guys how actually gnarly it is to just invest in a, in a, in a pump yourself or you're gonna have a, a bike. So uh, let's go get the pump because I think that's about it for the bike as far as all the upgrades I did for this year. Um, did it do wheels yet? Did it need to? I did buy this book, which I like a lot. So if you're really gonna get into it, guys, I, I would suggest getting the Zin and the Art of road bike maintenance. This will tell you everything you need to know. It'll tell you what kind of tools you need to get, like how, how in depth you're gonna be getting into it. Um, it's, it's really a good freaking book that is very well detailed and explains every single aspect of a road bike. And uh, you know, you can just do this stuff yourself. 
if you and you know working on cranks and chains is the hardest part of it and then the steering up here you know honestly and then if you're going to start wiring wheels and spokes and stuff like that it tells you how to do all that stuff but like you know and then wiring the brakes to, to run these to make it nice and tight and the cables it's really the hardest part about it in the cranks it's a, it all tells you all about it in here so anybody who's a little bit mechanically inclined can understand this enough to figure it out so it even tells you how to wrap the handlebars all right so this is the pump that i have from crank brothers and i really like this pump because it's it's actually really comfortable to use for one and it's pressed to end straighter valve like most pumps are and it just works so freaking good guys like this thing you know so it's not even that much money it's got a high pressure high volume or high pressure uh pump depending on if you have mountain bike tires or whatever kind of tires you're running so it doesn't take a whole lot i'll show you guys real quick on this one we'll just release the valve here take some air out we'll take we'll take all the air out of this tube all right so that bad boy is completely empty Press the valves on this bike. Lock. All right, and we're gonna throw 100 pounds in there. And you can see right now this thing's completely flat. And it's got a nice big, um, nice big valve, or a nice big um, gauge so you can read. hundred pounds just like that not hard to do at all oh, stuck in the stoke there we go uh, you know you normally I'll check my tire pressure like once or twice a week you don't have to do this a lot if you're gonna be riding your bike a lot and you know get really getting into it this is just something that I recommend everybody getting throw this in your trunk so many people underestimate the importance of the proper tire pressure even when riding them on the road uh, you know it can slow you down substantially make you work extra hard and you need to work so you know riding should be fun and comfortable um, so if you're gonna be doing a lot invest in a pump even if you're just casual like maybe once a month riding I think it's worth it to get a pump because if you're riding once a month chances are your bike's gonna lose air pressure just sitting around and then like it'll encourage you to ride more because when you don't ride your bike and then you get on it after a month and you realize the tire's flat, it'll discourage you and you'll be like, ah, the flat tire, now I gotta go get a pump, now I gotta go do this and do that and do extra things where you can just simply be like, I wanna ride my bike, go and be like, oh shit, it's flat, whatever, I'll just pump it up real quick, take five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever, if it's completely flat, maybe a minute, and you're, that's it, you're done, you're on your way, you're gonna go ride and have a good day. So, good yourself. A pump, I just recommend everybody get a pump because there's also little storage things here that I just actually just noticed that. Whoa, that is really cool, guys. There's a little storage, there's a little storage things in here. Storm's trying to get outside. Yeah, the Crank Brothers pump always had the, has these little hidden things, just like it's a little uh, predecessor, little brother down here. So, actually, would this be the predecessor or the small one? I don't know. Somebody will check me on my facts. Like the other day, somebody was literally checking me on my pronunciations. They were like, how, how can you talk about nuclear when you don't even spell nuclear? When you don't even say nuclear right? You, don't, you need to know how to pronounce it if you're gonna talk about it. Like, no, you fucking don't. Anyway, so I got trouble pronunciating things and I do YouTube on the fly. It's not like I sit here and, you know, fuck people. They're so ignorant. Hi, Papa. My dog is so pretty. He's so pretty. You're a cat head. No, show the people. Come here. Show the people. <laughs> show the people you're a cat head. Hi, bug. Okay, I'm just kidding. Dog hair in the mouth. So, guys, that's my trick. AL3 domain for this year. We'll see what we have next year in store for it. Or maybe what we uh, upgrade for the winter for this thing. Maybe a nice set of carbon wheels or... I do need to get some road tires. I want to take this on some gravel roads. The bike is set up for it out of the factory. It's kind of set up because of the separation between the forks. It can fit a bigger tire. So it's already set up for that, you know, as far as the frame goes. And, um, you know, so some recommendations on uh, some gravel tires or off-road tires or whatever that I could throw on this bike would be appreciated and, and a front light. 
And um, that's it. Like I said, if you want to become a patron member, I appreciate that. Like, share, subscribe. I love you all. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.